Hey, you guys, what's going on? This is Joseph Bonner, and welcome to today's show. Today, we're talking about five ways to know if your man is cheating on you. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you see the warning signs sooner rather than later. Sometimes it's later rather than sooner. So what we'd like to help you ladies do is to be able to ascertain if your man is cheating on you a little bit earlier. Now, first, I'd like to start the show off by saying you are all queens, beautiful, powerful, confident, strong, and you deserve the best. And isn't it true, though, that sometimes when we are in situations or circumstances or around certain individuals, we can begin to forget that. And sometimes we begin to forget that not because we have made an error or mistake. It's because the individuals around us cause us to question who we really are. Now, that could be in a relationship, which is what we're going to be talking about on today's show. That could be in a friendship. That could be in a working environment situation. It can even be on social media. A good rule of thumb is that if we are in an environment that causes us to question the goodness that we know is in us, the good things that we know we've accomplished, cause us to question our worth in regards to life, our life, then that can be a red flag as well as an indication that you perhaps need to change your environment. Perhaps you need to change and adjust your circumstances to the best of your ability. Now, in a committed relationship, something like that becomes quite more complicated, especially when a vow is involved, like a marriage vow. Also, when there are children involved, not to mention uh, financial support, people depending on your income or vice versa, you depending on someone else's income. And so unfortunately, when you have, and I say unfortunately, not like these situations make it unfortunate, but what these situations can do is just make things more complicated when seeking to ascertain or even validate who you are and your worth. If that makes any sense, I think marriage is a beautiful thing. Think the vow of marriage is a beautiful thing. But sometimes, even when those committed relationships are present, we can find things going a bit off. And that kind of brings us to our topic of the hour five ways to know if your man is cheating on you. Now, we're going to start with number one. Now, ladies, I do want you to understand. That if you see one of these things, or even all of these things, it may not be an indication that they are cheating. However, what I would like to say in this show, that if you see all of these things, or even one of these things, there may be a valid reason for you to question the faithfulness of your man. So ladies, let's start with number one. It's the biggest one. This is one that has presented controversy on social media. You name it. (laughs) From everybody that I can think of that is a man, um, perhaps has an opinion on this particular topic. Ladies, here it is. If your man will not let you see his phone. Now, when I say see his phone, I don't mean eyesight see. I mean actually allow you to put your his phone in your hands 
and allow you to go through his contacts, to go through his social media DMs, to go through <laughs> his search history on his internet. If your man won't let you see his phone, it could be an indication, ladies, I hate to tell you, that your man is cheating. Now, we all like a measure of privacy. That's true, right? There's certain things that we don't want people to see. There's certain things that we don't want people to know about us. And that's true. That is true. We all like to keep some things private. But when you're in an intimate, committed relationship, a lot of that privacy goes out the window. Because, right, what's yours is his and what's his is yours kind of thing. That's, that's usually the typically the rule that applies in a relationship. So when a man stops saying, hey, hey, you can have everything. You can have my money. You can have X, Y, and Z. But you can't see my phone. Now, he's willing to give you all these other, oh, yeah, I'll buy you this. I'll buy you that. But I can't let you hold my phone for five minutes. Ladies, red flag, red flag, red flag. Okay? Am I wrong? Talk to me, guys. Am I wrong? Am I lying? Don't hate. And I know maybe you're going to tell me to my fellas out there don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm going to tell you what, though. If you're in a committed relationship, you need to stop playing games. Or why are you in the relationship? It doesn't make any sense to me. Relationship is not a place to play games with. You want to play games, go play football with your friends. <laughs> You want to play game top online and, 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 and go online and play with your friends. The relationship, that's not the place to play games. All right, ladies, let's move to number two because I know you're ready for it. All right, ladies, number two. Again, how do you know if your man is cheating on you? Very simple, lady. He becomes offended easily. And when I say easily, I mean at the simplest things like, you know, oh, honey, you're not going to eat your food? Why are you always wondering about what I'm about to eat? Or you say something like, oh, honey, can, why don't you try wearing this shirt instead of this shirt? Why you always got to tell me what to wear? Or, 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 or honey, can you go pick up this from the grocery store? You go get it. Why well, I got to get everything? He becomes offended easily over even minor and little things that he didn't used to take offense to before. Sometimes that offense is an indication of a guilty conscience, an indication of a lack of respect for his partner, for the relationship. Sometimes it's an indication, ladies, that he has grown tired of the relationship and even of you. Sometimes. And so if your man becomes easily offended, even at the nice things that you say about him, and even not the nice things that you do for him. Ladies, a red flag. Chances are, there are some, there are some chances to it, yes, ladies, that your man is cheating. All right, I got another one for you. You like to hear it? Okay. And this is a big one, ladies, and you know what I'm talking about, because isn't this true sometimes you just like to cuddle? You just want to lay your head on your man's chest just to hear his heartbeat. You just want to feel his arms wrap around you and just, you know, all right. And if your man starts to avoid those intimate moments like that, he starts to avoid intimacy, doesn't want you to hold his hand in private or in public, avoids physical contact with you, avoids hugs and if your, your expressions of affection, dismisses them, outright seems annoyed by them. Well, ladies, again, that can be an indication that your man is cheap. Because what man in their right mind is going to avoid hugs and kisses and expressions of love by their woman unless something else is going on. You tell me, something else is going on. I mean, what man would do that unless something else is going on? And now I will say this, ladies, there are times sometimes where we make our man upset. And you know, 
sometimes where we may say things to offend him, to genuinely offend him, and to deliberately offend him. And then as a result of that offense, we may see the man withdraw. Now that's different. If your man is withdrawing intimacy because of you know, disagreements that you've had or maybe times that you've gone off on him. Now that's different. Now that's, that's just, a, <laughs> that's just a consequence of a reaction or of an action rather. That's a reaction of his based off of maybe your actions. So that's different. Okay. If you notice that he becomes less affectionate because you went off on him, or you said something loud or hurtful to him. Okay. That's different. Or that may be different, right? But if he avoids regular intimacy, then that could be an indication, ladies, that your man is cheating on you. All right, let's move on to the next one. We got time. Two more. Two more to go. Now, ladies, you got a piece of paper right now. Are you doing a mental checklist? Are you checking off your man and seeing what he... Now, I know you're going through it in your mind. You, you're thinking about, well, he did kind of come home late the other day, and he was a little standoffish. No. Oh, you know, he did kind of get an attitude the other day. Are you doing a mental checklist right now, ladies? Kind of matching up your man to what I'm saying. If you're doing that, that's good. Because that shows that you love him. You know, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't be doing a mental checklist right now if you didn't love your man. If you didn't have affection for him. If you did not care for him. So I don't want you to feel guilty that you are even questioning your man. Because the fact that you are questioning him means that you are personally committed to the relationship. You are personally and emotionally invested in the future of this relationship. You are to be commended, as a matter of fact. But if these questions are arising, it's normally because, it's usually, it's typically because things have happened in the relationship to make those questions valid. So here's another one. When a man becomes withdrawn in the relationship, when I say withdrawn, I mean he doesn't want to have breakfast with you, doesn't want to eat lunch with you. I mean, thank you for the dinner, honey, uh, but I don't need to eat with you. He has that kind of attitude. He becomes withdrawn. He doesn't share with you any details about his day at work. He doesn't share with you any details about his interest anymore. He just doesn't reveal those, those things to you anymore like he used to before in the earlier stages of the relationship. He's become withdrawn. Sometimes maybe he'll even avoid eye contact, avoid physical touch. He's not the same. He's acting different. This isn't the man that you fell in love with. He's withdrawn. You see that? Has your man become withdrawn in the relationship? Does he stop communicating with you? Has he stopped embracing you? Has he stopped altogether? And now you're wondering, where is this relationship going? Where do we stand? Are you starting to question things now? Well, it could be an indication again, ladies, that your man is cheating. All right, now here's a big one. And again, I want you to remember, ladies, that I don't want you to blame yourself if your man starts to cheat. Okay? And the fact is, that if you are questioning it, chances are you're invested in the relationship. Now, I do want to say this to some of the ladies out there, because some of the ladies out there ain't right. And ladies, you know who I'm talking to. Some of the ladies out there are out there cheating on their man. And they're surprised when they find out that their man is cheating on them. Now, are some of the ladies out there have found out that their man has cheated on them? So they go out there and cheat as well. Or they think their man has cheated on them. Again, no, no evidence, no substantial evidence. And have gone out and cheated in retaliation of something that they've imagined that has happened. Now, if you're doing that, ladies, you ain't right. You're not right. You're not right for that. And so... Can you rightfully become offended and justified in your anger if you discover that after doing something like that, the man that you are with is cheating? Can you rightfully be angry at that? It's a question. All right. 
Now we're going to move on to our last point. Now, every lady's not like that. I'm just saying for those out there, for the ladies out there who you know you're not right, I just got to speak truth. You know I do. All right, let's go on to our last point. The man accuses you of cheating. Now, this is a man who's accusing you of cheating, and you've done nothing. You've done nothing to cause him to raise those questions. And he starts to accuse you of cheating. He's accusing you of hiding the truth. He says, well, let me see. Yo, phone. Who you talking to, right? Where have you been at all day, right? He starts to question you. When you've done that, you you haven't flipped up. You haven't changed in the relationship. You haven't stopped giving. You haven't stopped your expressions of affection. You haven't stopped caring. And he starts to act brand new and ask you, are you cheap? Okay. First of all, fellas, if you're out there doing that with your woman, you know you're not right. Yeah, I ain't even got to tell you because you already know in your heart you're not right. You already know in your heart, you're not doing something right. Let's just be real. I'm going to be honest. If your man starts to accuse you of cheating when there is nothing that you've done to cause him to question you, it could be a very good indication, ladies, that your man, I hate to tell you, is cheating. Now, notice you guys, please notice all this. We, we listed five ways. All right, five things that could be a good indication that your man is cheating. But this is not evidence of infidelity. The only time you can genuinely and rightfully accuse your man of cheating is if you found hardcore evidence to prove that case. Now, these are all circumstantial things. This is why I say he may be cheating. If you see these things, he may be cheating. Not he's definitely cheating. Because you can only make a definite call on this is you if you have concrete evidence. Now for that, you might want to look into getting a private investigator. If you can't seem to find out, you know, you might want to get a private investigator. I know a few people. You can reach out to me. I'll point you in the right direction. All right. This is Joseph Bonashow. All right. If you need a private investigator, I know some people that can make some things happen. Okay. So don't worry that you, you're not alone, but I do want you to know that this list, again, don't take this list to your man and be like, see, I know you cheating. No, you don't. You don't know nothing until you can see it with, with your eyes. You may have a feeling, but to know, no, means you need to be presented with evidence to prove without a shadow of a doubt that he's cheating. You know what I mean? Now, that's just it, right? Those are the facts, right? Because you'd hate to make uh, accuse someone of cheating, and then you come to find out that you were wrong, right? And then because you've accused them now, You've now damaged the relationship and you've now altered the trajectory of where this relationship was heading. So you don't want to do that. Nevertheless, if your man is raising red flags, ladies, if he's raising red flags, as a mature and beautiful woman that you are, approach him at a good day, a good time, you know, when he's in a good mood. And then approach him correctly when you bring up the subject like, hey, you know, I'm noticing X, Y, and Z. This is what I'm noticing in our relationship. Can you let me know what's going on? And he may be like, oh, nothing's going on. I don't know. Everything is good. And you may have to just be very honest with him. You say, you know what? I know you're telling me everything's good, but based on what I'm seeing, this is what I believe. And now, unless I see different behavior, then I'm going to have different feelings, right? Different behavior elicits different feelings. But a pattern of behavior is going to make me feel a certain way. And if this is where you want the relationship to be, then okay. If this is what you expect it to be, then I need to know that from, from jump, right? You need to have just an honest, calm, but yet pointed conversation with him on the topic, you know? Because he may, there may, and I'm going to be honest with you, ladies, there may be some things that your man is going through, and that may be the reason why you're seeing these things. It could be something he's going through personally. It could be just emotional things he's facing. It may not be it may not be that he's cheating. It could be just things he's going through. Nevertheless, as a woman in the relationship, you still have a right to know some things. You still have a right to understand your man and where you where you stand in the relationship and and 
as men, we don't like to talk about our feelings a lot. We don't like to talk about our emotions. We don't always like to be like, well, you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling depressed. Or I'm feeling, you know, this certain way or this happened in my past and this is why I'm... We won't always feel comfortable having those conversations, but it's important that you let your man know that some of these conversations he needs to have with you so that you can learn and know how to love him and how to hold him down throughout good and bad situations that he's facing. So if he's mature enough to be in a relationship, then he's going to have to learn the strength and the courage, gain that strength and courage to be more open in his communication with you. That is a requ- that should be a requirement in the relationship, and if he's and if he's if he is maturing, and if he's ready, then he'll then he'll bring you in at the right time in those situations. But if he refuses to, then it may mean that he's not ready for a relationship. It may mean he just is not ready. Not that he doesn't love you, just that he's not ready for a relationship. Now that's a whole another conversation you got to have with your man in that situation in that setting. But I do want to say this, my ladies, no matter what, whether you discover he's cheating, whether you suspect he's cheating, or whether your man is just going through some things, I do want you to know that your worth is not determined by how he treats you. Now, how he treats you should strengthen you. It should inspire courage in your heart. It should comfort you. It should remind you of the beauty that is in you. That's what it should do. And if at this point the relationship is not doing that, he deserves to know. And you deserve to have your say. So I don't want you to think at any point, no matter what you're facing, that you deserve to be treated any less than as a queen. And I want to end the show on that positive note. Again, ladies, if you need a private investigator, I got you. You guys just call into the Joseph Bonner Show. You guys can reach reach me on social media. We'll take care of you. Okay. Don't worry about that. All right. We're going to end today's show. You guys, before we end today's show, I'd like to just take a little moment to give a special shout out and welcome to Joseph Bonner PR. And that is the CEO. Now I'm going to say this correctly, you guys, because I'm so proud. First of all, before I give her a shout out, I'm so proud of what we've been able to accomplish with the Bully Avengers And it's so amazing that we've been able to do so much good for so many of our children internationally through the Bully Avengers. We have now opened up a platform to provide free publicity and PR support to small business and large business owners. So if you'd like to take advantage of this free PR support, you guys can definitely reach out to me at josephbonner.com slash PR. That's josephbonner.com slash PR, and we'll give you some of that free support too. Now, there are other plans that you can also purchase some you know, larger publicity support, but we got a free program out there. Feel free to jump in and get some support there. Now, we definitely want to give a shout out again. She is the CEO of Complete Length. And she is the creator of The Lemon Burn Detox. Holler at this queen. Her name is McKinney, and she is doing some amazing things. Again, she is the CEO of Complete Length and the creator of The Lemon Burn Detox. Now, you guys know what Lemon Burn Detox is, right? If you're trying to lose some weight, hey, you're trying to do it a little bit faster than maybe as typically would be done <laughs> without a little extra support, um, that is what The Lemon Burn Detox does. It allows your body to process uh, <laughs> that liquid fluid and allows your body to kind of you know burn faster, detox and definitely supports weight loss. So again, that's the CEO of Complete Length and the creator of the Lemon Burn Detox. Shout out to McKinney. Thanks. Welcome to the Joseph Bonner PR family. We also like to say that today's show is brought to you by the Bully Avengers. Continue to fight for the rights of men, women, and children internationally. We continue to raise awareness over international threats to our children, especially and as well as our women, and we continue to stand up and fight for those who cannot fight. So all the support there, you guys can support the Bully Avengers and our initiatives there by visiting bullyavenger.com. That's bullyavenger.com. We also want to say that today's show is brought to you by Legend Magazine. Now, Legend Magazine is the premier media, business, fashion, and lifestyle magazine with 
a twist of inspiration for all of you out there who know as we continue to cover even celebrity stories, we always find a way to share positivity and inspiration through that story. You know, we don't, we, you know, we, we do, we do, and I'll say this again, we do, we do, <laughs> we do report various tabloid information surrounding celebrity life that we feel is of interest. However, when we go to print, we only print stories that we feel will inspire the international community. Since Legend Magazine is distributed in 120 countries, we feel that when a print magazine goes out, our, our main objective should be not to just inform, but to inspire. And that's been our objective when we started in 2015, and it's still our goal to this day. So you guys check out the latest in Legend Magazine at legendmgz.com. That being the case, you guys, I'm out of here. It's been a great week, a great day. I hope and wish you nothing but an amazing week. Ladies out there, ladies, 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 if you do discover that your man is cheating, remember, it's not your fault. Keep your head up, queens. You got this. Until next time, you guys, I'm Joseph Bonner, Dr. Love, peace, love, and much success, as always.